Hi there, my name is Lee Griggs. I'm the Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I'm just going to show you how to do this tune hatching shading effect uh, with an Arnold in, uh, in Maya. Uh, it's basically a tune shader with uh, a new Ubernoise OSL shader connected to the mask color. Gives you this approximation of a shading, tune shading hatching effect. Okay, so here is our, here's our scene. Uh, I've just put a sky dome light in with a color correct and a physical sky going into that. The color correct is to just desaturate the sky so we get a nice black and white image. Okay, so we select the geometry, assign a shader, uh, standard surface. We're just going to change that to, to a tune shader. And then I'm going to reduce the specular because I don't want any specular shading. And then under mask color, so to edge detection, mask color, I want to create an OSL shader. And then connect the out value to the mask color here. And then we need to find our OSL, Ubernoise OSL shader. So if you go to the documentation, on documentation, type a forward slash OSL, it will just jump to the OSL page of your plugin. And then we've got some different examples here of different OSL shaders, you can have a look at those. And then underneath that link, we'll show you the GitHub, and then you can jump to Max Shaders, just type in Uber, it will take you to ubernoise.osl, which is the one you want. So you can either download that, uh, or just copy the text, copy and paste the text, so just select the text, jump back to the OSL, paste it in there, and or just import the file and just compile that and just make sure how look at the top make sure the compiler is successful once it's done that it will show you the user interface for the uber noise so there's a couple of attributes that we want to change here most important is the type if you type two that will change it to a cell noise let's start off a render why not let's just open up the arnold render view and we've got a tune shader here. So the first things first is we want to change the scale, depending on the size of your geometry. So I'm going to change that. Let's, try, let's lower it down to five, maybe try one. Oof. Let's go back to the tune shader. You can reduce the width scale, the edge just to thin those out. Okay, so it's looking much more realistic. That's pretty much it you can tweak things if you want it further but i kind of kind of happy like with that as it is uh camera a samples are three i kind of like it kind of low like this because it kind of breaks up the, the two images it gives you that rough sketch look um so yeah that's basically it okay thanks bye